So, all right guys, so this is a, um, a new client that we have. And what we're doing is, uh, it's sadly, it's mid-construction. And um, this should have all been done pre-construction. But anyways, we're here and we're privileged to be here. So we're gonna set up a TPZ for this Southern Live Oak. Uh, and so we're gonna go through the steps on how to do that. First thing we're gonna do is tag the tree for our inventory and this property we're starting with the 300 so it'll be tag 301. And so we'll just uh, find a spot here. I always put mine at an angle so they don't fall off. And then I just, just put it in there like that. I leave a space so the tree grows. It doesn't, you know, when you come back in a year or two, you can always relocate the, the tag. So the first thing that we're gonna do before we do our planking is Carlos is going to do a, um, a phosphorus basil drench, a fungicide. It's kind of like a steroid shot. It's very beneficial to these trees that are under construction, beneficial to all trees. So he's going to do the basil drench. After that, we're going to plank. And then after that, we're going to do a, uh, uh, we're going to dig a trench with the pickaxe around the tree and we're going to uh, apply a growth regulator. We'll talk more about that. Then we're going to do some vertical mulching and apply a temporary watering system. Stuff. Okay, so <clears throat> sometimes you can use a saw or a knife, but this heavy bark, I'm just going to use a screwdriver. There's a big wound here, and uh, I'm going to cut this wound off. So we can treat it. See. Started as you want to. Let's see. All right. Now my man come in here and apply the lac balsam to it. You can use a paintbrush, whatever you like. Uh, we don't have a paintbrush for this, so he's got some some gloves. <laughs> and you just want to put a thin layer on it, really thin layer. You gotta don't want to apply it too much. Just a nice thin layer over the wound helps prevent pathogens and vectors, different insects from infecting the tree while the tree compartmentalizes the wound. All right, so he'll do that, and then we'll start with our basil drench. All right, we got our wound sealed now. And this is a phosphorus basil drench, like a steroid shot. Um, be careful when you're spraying this stuff because there is some drift involved. That's the flow zone backpack we use. Uh, when we're doing a lot of trees, we actually use a, uh, like a 110 gallon tank with uh, about a hundred pounds of pressure. And then we use a flow meter on our tank where we know how many gallons per tree. We'll, show, we'll do a video about that later. But anyways, he's gonna do this until the, uh, He's, all of his solutions gone. Pause real quick, uh, Carlos. Here's our wound. You can see we got it sealed up. He's ready to go. Okay, so this is how we do our plank thing. We just use ratchet straps. Some people use banding. Piece of equipment hits the tree or something, it'll damage the tree, or not the tree, but the uh, plank thing, and hopefully not the tree. Now we're gonna get ready for our vertical mulching here. 
we'll take a short video on how to do that as well. Okay, we're gonna put our trench now. For our growth regulator. See those five roots? See how shallow they are? Those are the ones that absorb all the nutrients. Getting our aeration done. We're setting up the TPZ fencing, with our T posts. Let's use zip ties. There's some construction that's, they're gonna be digging some stuff out over here, so we had to go at an angle, but we're gonna try to protect as much as we can. You see the vertical mulching here? See these fine roots in here? See those roots? Very important. Looks like a minefield. We got Carlos. Get me, baby. On this side, we're coming out to the drip line. We'll be right in here. It's also aerating this pine tree as well. That pine tree over there. I do this twice a year. Fall, spring. Man, when that irrigates, see, look at these little at these roots in here. You see that? People, contractors don't want to do this because it takes time. They'd rather inje inject the tree, fertilize the tree through micro injections, drilling into the vascular system, instead of really focusing on the main source of, of, of life, I guess. That's not the correct term, but you get the point. Focus on the root system. The canopy will reflect the root system. Aerate, 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 aerate. I preach that all the time. We. All right, we're gonna apply our growth, regula growth, growth regulator, and I cut the rate in half because the tree is stressed, and also this vertical mulching does cut the roots, so it's benefits it in the long run. But cut the growth regulator rate in half. Cover the trench back up with untreated soil. So we'll be doing that in a little bit. I gotta put some soil over the treated area. Alright, you can stop it. This is a non-treated soil. The label recommends that you backfill it. Non-treated soil. A little trench here. 
I gotta do all the hard work. Carlos does all the video. Huh? <laughs> That's messed up. Not true. That's messed up, man. Not true. Here's our uh, little temporary drip system. We're gonna put a timer on it. Things are a pain in the butt. Sometimes you hit roots under there. They don't go all the way down like that. It stops. So I just bend it over. It's just temporary. So we'll do this. tree all right, okay guys well we have our sucker hose in doing a nice job <clears throat> this is a think, 75 foot soaker hose in the past i've hooked up another one and went around even further and never had enough pressure to really get it to engage so what i started doing was just putting one and then i've been watering for now like this started at 250 i've been watering now for 15 minutes and this is the soak that i have I'm doing pretty good. That's flowing really nice, but I, I still want it to flow out to here and it will, if you run it long enough, you'll get her. And after the, I got to water it three days a week. And after you get this deep soak, it'll get further and further away from your trunk. So again, um, and when you're doing vertical mulching, you can just kick the mounds back down and put them back in the hole. If you want, uh, it doesn't matter. The earth will move and fill itself up. But, um, the high vis fence we got to finish putting there but again this needs to be done pre-construction is the best best way to do it and then if, if you are doing this remember and i was advised this as well i'll share the same information is with your growth regulator when a tree's stressed come off of the rate really want to back off of the rate when the tree's really stressed this is all very compacted in here you can see how how high the fibrous roots are this aeration and stuff will help get those roots down deeper in the soil. I think we, <clears throat> that's like uh, 15 minutes of watering and that's how good we are. So I think an hour will get it a really good soak. What do you think? One hour? Yeah. Three days a week? Yeah, that'd be plenty. And at nighttime, we're gonna do it at night because this client doesn't want mulch uh, anywhere on this property. Usually we will figure out how much water we need after we're done, then we'll mulch over this uh, it's kind of the standard in the industry. I recommend not getting away from that, but we're just accommodating the client on this project. So we can recommend, but at the end of the day, we work for them. So, yep. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Say peace, Carlos.